I'm the current world yo-yo champion. In the next 48 hours, I'm gonna take eight iconic photos in eight locations in Japan, each with a different yo-yo for my signature line. The clock's ticking. The first location is Tokyo Sky Tree. We have to make it to the top. Let's go. It's gonna be difficult enough to physically get to each location, but the real challenge here will be to actually capture something iconic at each spot. Tokyo Sky Tree is the tallest structure in Japan at 2,080 feet. For this location, my yo-yo of choice is the shutter, the yo-yo I used to win my first world title. It's the yo-yo that took me to the top, so it's only right that we take the shutter to the top of Japan. I got my ticket, now I have to take the elevator up over 2,000 feet and hopefully get the photo quick. This room is about at the midway point. Not sure if we want to take the photo here or go all the way to the top, but check out this view. My first thought is to capture a silhouette of a yo-yo trick with the view of Tokyo in the background. I'm trying a few different poses and the photos look pretty good, but I know I can do better. We have one more option, I have an idea. I'm heading back down to the bottom to get an angle looking up to the top of the tower. If this doesn't work, I'm screwed. I found this perfect spot where I can dangle the yo-yo downward toward the camera so the yo-yo and string line up perfectly with the tower. That's it, we got it, we got it. We got it, that's it? That one. Oh, I think that's it. We need to go. I don't know what we're gonna do. That took way too long. The sun's gone. There's literally a typhoon coming. Super typhoon. I don't know how we're gonna get the rest of the shots. I'm on the train for the next stop is Asakusa, which was one of the first temples I ever saw on my first trip to Tokyo. So the yo-yo of choice is the arrow. This is the go-to yo-yo to learn the DNA with, which has become the most viral yo-yo trick in the world. And it will be thousands of kids' first introduction to yo-yoing. It's a perfect fit. To get back on track, we literally have 10 minutes to get this shot. For this photo, I wanna capture an actual shot of the DNA with the arrow. After just a few tries, I got the perfect shot. Easy money, back on track. A quick stop at the third location. This is the Nakamise Market. This is a go-to tourist destination in Japan to get souvenirs for your friends or family. There's all kinds of stuff here, food, classic toys and games. So my yo-yo of choice is the Spin Star, the perfect first yo-yo. The most difficult part about this shot is just to make sure not to hit anyone. We got a shot there. Photo three is complete, we're back on track, but I'm worried because the typhoon is coming. And I don't know if that's gonna stop us from getting the shot at our next location. Typhoon Himnanor exploded in the last 24 hours here in the Southern Japanese islands. Potential of a super typhoon. Tonight I'm debuting my newest yo-yo, the Shutter Evo in Shibuya. It's not ideal we're losing out on a few hours to capture the next shot, especially since I don't know when the typhoon will hit. It may be heading straight toward Shibuya when I'm inside, but the in-store event was incredible. And to celebrate my new yo-yo's debut, the yo-yo of choice has to be the Shutter Evo. Just wrapped the in-store event. The weather, luckily, has been nice to us. We're about to go to the Shibuya Crossing, which is the biggest crosswalk in the world. You may know it from this famous scene in the movie Tokyo Drift. Over 2.4 million people cross it every day, so I had an idea to do a long exposure photo that would capture all the motion of this organized chaos. A little bit higher. Three, two, one. Oh, it looks so good, but the yo-yo's blurry. The issue with the photo is I have to keep my hands so still because it's a long exposure. I think that's the one. Let's go! Quick interruption, if you want to start yo-yoing or just pick up a new yo-yo, all the yo-yos used in this video are available on my website, gentrystein.com. My beginner and pro models, including discounted bundles like the yo-yo master pack, which are perfect for getting started. Back to the video. The plan was to get up super early tomorrow to head to Kyoto to finish the rest of the photos, but I realized there's a very special location on the way back to the hotel. This location's not nearly as famous as the rest, but to me, it's the most special. Right behind me is Bell Saul, which was the location of the 2015 World Yo-Yo Contest here in Tokyo. This was where I tried to defend my title after winning Worlds in 2014, but I miserably failed 30 seconds in and had to switch yo-yos. This whole experience led to the iconic moment of me winning the U.S. Nationals just a few months later with the Replay Pro. So of course, that's the yo-yo of choice. Let's get it. We're gonna capture a moment from what I think is one of the most iconic tricks of the freestyle, the stop and go combo. What if we took an artistic approach, took another photo when there's no cars, and then we overlaid it? We got it. Now have to head to bed ASAP because tomorrow morning up bright and early to head to Kyoto. It's the next morning. We have to get to Kyoto and take the Shinkansen, which is the fastest train in Japan. It leaves in five minutes. I was feeling real good about our timing earlier, but if we don't get this train, we're gonna show up to Kyoto way too late. We made it. 
Just made it to Kyoto. First stop is the Red Gates, otherwise known as the Fushimi Inari Shrine. It's one of thousands of shrines dedicated to Inari, the Shinto god of rice. The people have worshipped Fushimi Inari as the shrine of rich harvest, business success, and wishes come true. I chose to use the steel shutter to capture this photo because it was the tool that helped me make my wish come true and win my second world title. Can you do something before the yo-yo shoots up? It's not bad. That looks really sick. We got the shot, but for the next one, there's a problem. We've caught up on time a little bit, but now the difficult thing is capturing the photo at the right time. The plan is to wait for around sunset as it starts to get a little bit darker. Hopefully we can time it right. While waiting for the light, I'm just thinking about how grateful I am to even be on this adventure. Let me know in the comments which photo is your favorite so far. For the first time this whole video, we're getting somewhere early. In order for the photo to look how I'm envisioning, it has to be taken during golden hour, which is right now. So the yo-yo of choice is the golden shutter wide angle problem we just learned it closes at 6 13 minutes from now if I've learned anything from this challenge it's that things never go as expected I actually don't even know if they're gonna let us into the spot we need to get to fingers crossed okay we got in but there's not much time I don't know how it always ends up like this this location is called Kiyomizu Dera 300 years ago people would come here to jump 43 feet from this platform and if they survived it said that their wish would come true at this point my only wish is that I can actually get this photo in time as soon as we started shooting the photo, they were announcing that they were closing and everyone needed to go. Uh, if we don't get this, they're gonna kick us out. But then this happened. I think we just now done that. Ooh! Yes, we got the shot. They're literally yeah, kicking yeah. us out. All right, one more location. It's currently 11 p.m. I have to be up at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning for the final location. I'll see you there. This is it. Two and a half hours until all 48 hours are up. If I can capture this photo, my mission will be complete. The last location is the one I'm most excited about. Normally this spot's super packed with tourists, but since it's so difficult to get to Japan currently, I'm hoping it will be empty. After a quick taxi ride, I made it. Looks like nobody's here. That's exactly what we wanted. The Arashiyama Bamboo Grove one of Kyoto's most famous sites. I saved the DNA yo-yo for this location as I had a specific vision. The window's right now, the lighting's just perfect. We've been waiting so it can capture the DNA just right. This is by far the most difficult shot to capture correctly, as the lighting has to be just right during the DNA trick to show the helix shape clearly. Oh, that's the angle, we just need a better helix, but we don't have long until it gets too bright to shoot okay. the shot. One more try, and then... That's a helix. Ooh! That's it. Lock it in, we got it. Woo! 48 hours in Japan, eight photos, eight yo-yos, eight locations. Each shot is available for download at the link in the description. That's a wrap.